one of the best nights of my life, but also one of the most scariest and like un out of my control nights. I realized that there's so. Saving the animals, it's time to actually get to work and take some photos. <laughs> it's time to go home. I love you. I'm like so nervous. I hate this so much. I don't want to do this ever again. Then this man, a flight attendant, comes up to me and he's like, Piper Snip, you're kicked off this flight because your dog pooped everywhere and it's really messy. Now we're trying to drive back to California and if you don't know, it's like 16 hour drive. It's a very, very long drive. Dream job, dream job, I'm gonna be on Vogue Extra, Extra. Guys, we're going to the Bahamas. For real, for real, legitness, going to the Bahamas. Why are we not going? Let's go, come on, let's go. Basically, I'm going to the Bahamas to be a swimsuit model which has been my dream since I was like a little kid doing freaking pageants. What are you waiting for? Let's go, like and subscribe. Hi babies, I'm on the flight right now. I'm looking real, a little crusty, but there's no time. And I'm not complaining, but like what am I supposed to do for five and a half hours? Talk to my mom? <laughs> I'm joking. That flight was like so freaking turbulency. I actually thought I was not gonna make it through, but I'm so grateful to be here for real, for real. And the outside weather is perfect. Whitening strips on right now, so I sound crazy, but I'm trying to get them white teeth, okay? We're in our hotel now, and it's so cute. I'm just gonna show you guys everything I'm doing to prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow is a really big deal, honestly. Ever since I was in pageants, I've wanted to do this, and I've got the tan on already, so my legs are really tan. Tomorrow, we're gonna try to wake up super early so we can get as many as we possibly can done because, girl, I'm here to work. And work my butt off, okay? I guess I'll do a little night routine with you guys. After a very long flight, very turbulency, we finally made it to the Atlantis. And first of all, I just wanna say how grateful I am because it's literally my dream job. I really don't know what else I could ask for to make this trip any better besides my tan. Once I get out of the shower, the lady who did my spray tan said that I need to moisturize and she gave me this lotion, so I just lathered this all over my body. I'm gonna do my hair and then my nails and then my skincare, I think. So first of all, I think you should just do my hair. There's like just a ton of like open waters with like huge ass sharks in it. And like there's no signs, like I swear to God, there's no, like I'll show you that there's no signs saying that I shouldn't jump in. There's like sharks and fish and stingrays. Like I could jump in if I really wanted to. Dices, every time I pull this bad baby out, I always kind of get like, but keep bears. I know, like, this is like the first version. Like, I have like the rare limited edition. I probably don't even make it anymore. I got this when I was 13 years old. Great. And my favorite attachment is this brush, and I just take it in my hair and just go like this. Several hours later, time for nails. So, I have two different ones I have a French tip, and I just have a pink. Are you guys ready? Oh, I have not had long nails on in so long, but they're just press on so I could just, if I really want to. I'm not gonna lie, it feels so weird to have nails on. I kinda like it. I'm gonna do a quick little skincare. Last night was very unfortunate because I got a spray tan, so I didn't have time to take off my mascara. I look like Santa Claus. So what's really cool is this isn't the only resort that we're going to. We're also going to another one, or another photo shoot. I'm going to now do this moisturizer. Okay guys, so I'm done for the night. I can't even believe that I'm here doing something that I've wanted to do my whole entire life. And um, yeah. All right. Good morning guys, it's, uh, it's morning. I definitely did not wake up as early as I wanted to. But today is a new beginning, so let me curl my hair and actually get myself ready. I'll come back to you guys when my hair is all done. Okay. 
the hair is done. Don't ever use your teeth again. Shout out to these companies right here. I'm gonna put their tags on the screen because you guys need to go check them out. Summer is coming up. That means that we need to be locked and loaded with our bathing suits. And I'm telling you, girl, these bathing suits are the best little bathing suits I've ever put on my body. And they're the reason I'm even doing this. So I love them so much. Now that I'm actually ready for the day, let's show you some of the bathing suits that I'm gonna do photos in and start business. This is my outfit right now, but I'm not gonna be in a lot of clothes the rest of trip because look at all these bikinis. So these are for the next um, place that we're going to and these all are like really expensive So I'm so grateful that I got to like just like have them to do a photo shoot in. These are the other bathing suits This one is just like so freaking cute. I might do this one first. Honestly, they're all just like so cute And I'm just so so beyond grateful. So which one should I put on first? I want whatever's gonna look the best with my tan come back to see which one I actually put on this is the next bathing suit. I love it so much. I love these little like bows on it. I ordered a chamomile tea to the room. Try to guess how long that's gonna take. Yeah, 45 minutes. And it's been like 30 minutes already. So like hopefully we get one more uh, look done and, and then we'll go to dinner. Honestly, I don't even know what the point of having a, like a TV in the hotel because they only have like four channels. The weirdest stuff is on them. You start watching the weirdest stuff and you get obsessed with it because they only have four freaking channels. Thank you so much. Do you need help or did you? Hi. She's here. Thank you so much. It's perfect. Yes, thank you so much. Get this tea. One thing I can give the Bahamas, the people here are so nice. Like that woman was so nice. Just then, woohoo. Guys, I found turtles. one of the little like lagoon areas but I think it's crazy because ever since I was like a little kid I used to see commercials all the time for this place like literally it would like be like come here June Paradise Island it's just like called the Atlantis so like I used to see stuff all the time so it's crazy that I'm actually here today and I also picked this bathing suit if you guys can tell time for another bathing suit before an absolutely crazy night I promise, an absolutely crazy night. Let's just say Piper's feeling a little fruity in this outfit. I'm walking through the water right now. It's quite cold. You would think that it's a little bit hotter here, the water, but I mean, I have to be grateful. It's crystal clear. What is that? So on our way home from dinner, we realized that there's so much. There was this dog and we fed her and all of a sudden we hear her and she comes running around from the side of the other house and we were like, okay, we have to take this dog, but I don't think we can. This is like the like not good side of the Bahamas. Like you're in your resort and you feel all like, you know, preppy and whatever, and then you leave and there's dogs and cats everywhere. I'm re-watching this video and oh my God, it's giving me literally PTSD because this was one of the best nights of my life, but also one of the most scariest and like un out of my control nights. You know, the Bahamas is really beautiful in the resorts, but then you get out of the resorts and you see the actual like towns and you see that it's not as amazing as you think, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a different side of it. You see two different sides. And you know, the people there, they don't really like dogs. They treat them like rats. And the thing was, is I was literally watching it in front of my eyes. Look, she's legitimately following us. Like what the f are we supposed to do? She's still following us. We're gonna go to make and get her uh, a burger or something. And you're so cute. I hate you. So I was carrying this dog for a good like 20 minutes and then all of a sudden this man was like, wait, that's my dog. And I was like, this is your dog. And he was like, yeah, I have her puppies. Guy told us that he's gonna go get food and he's coming back. I don't necessarily know if he's coming back. I really don't know. I'm really confused. I'm really confuzzled. I really don't like it here and I really just wanna get, go home. So basically, 
I just had to leave her outside again and I felt awful about it. I didn't know what was going on, I didn't know who was gonna hurt her and I wasn't there to protect her. So let's just say I didn't get a good night's sleep. So it's currently like 9.15, I'm up, don't feel too good, but we're gonna go try to find her again. I was so scared last night, I like could not sleep. strong feeling that she's not gonna be out because there's so many people out so many tourists and like I'm just like so like I'm like bad and I'm also kind of tired because I just woke up. We've been walking for like 15 minutes now and um, we haven't seen her so far. So I'm just filming because maybe she'll be up here I don't know I really have low high low chances because it's so packed. Oh my god. I'll let you guys know. I was looking for her for hours and hours and hours. Literally, I was sweating. There was tourists everywhere and I thought I was never gonna find her. But then this happened. Girly. Girly. She okay? Girly. Damn, this is like watching my birth video. I thought she was dead. For real thought she was dead. So we had to drag her 40 pound body up all the way to the freaking vet because nobody was helping us. So we literally carried this 40 pound dog. Finally, somebody helped us and we got in her vehicle. I'm currently in a bed with truck with a lot of dogs and I just, she's really scared so I'm staying back here with her. I'm shaking. I really hope this is gonna go well. This is not how I expected my Bahamas trip to go. But these dogs are cute. They're really excited. All I got to say is it's getting hot back here. This is just a way crazier time than I expected. And I'm sweating. I could drink my sweat if I had a cup. And it's for this dog, man, and I'm not even a dog person. <laughs> This is definitely not how I was expecting my Bahamas trip to go, but day two, let's go. Hi guys, the last time you saw me, I was sweaty. I had legit butt sweat. I was disgusting, I had BO, and I was in the back of a trunk with dogs, um, yeah, and a bunch of puppies who like literally pooped everywhere and was like flicking poop onto me, but I'm back home, I'm fresh and showered. But to conclude the story, basically the dog, we got to a vet finally, thank God. Everything's kind of set up for us to take her back home on our flight. We have like six more days here, so she's being boarded right now. And everything went really, really well beyond that point, so like I'm very, very happy for that, and I hope that we can get home safely. Um, but I've only been here two days, and I feel like I've lived so many lives, and I'm pretty tired. But at least I had some food in my body, for real. I don't know about you guys, but like when I'm on a vacation, I feel like I eat and less, and I walk more. Literally today, I've walked like five miles already. Enough with saving the animals. It's time to actually get to work and take some photos. All right, this is like the first actual outfit I've done while I'm here. This isn't like a dress. It's really cute. I love this heart right here. Fits really well, but the only thing the girlies understand is um, I forgot a strapless bra. We're just gonna make it work. Of course, Piper had to forget something, and at least it wasn't something too important. Let's go take some photos. This is the next bathing suit. I don't know why it's zooming in. It's really cute. Chrissy King the label. Um, we've done two actual outfits so far, and this is the next suit. It's like late at night, and this is my last outfit that I'm gonna do. It's for that same company. Um, it's a little, it's different. I'm gonna go do it on the beach real quick. It's nighttime, and um, yeah, this will be our last photo, and then we're gonna go get some grub. My native deodorant is not working, so <laughs> you can only imagine what this smells like. This concludes night three. I just got ready for bed. My white ink strips on, and I'm about to go to bed. We had a good dinner, but I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, we're hustling to breakfast because it's about to close at 11.30, and 54, so that means that breakfast, I need to secure it. I haven't had a good breakfast in a while. Success. I ate so much food to the point where I had to order more food after my food came out because I was still hungry. So I actually went to the beach and got a little tan. I feel like I actually got some sort of tan, maybe not on my face, but besides the point because I'm about to do the first photo of the day. Today's kind of our relaxed day because we just did so much the other days that like, I mean, there's nothing else that we could possibly do, but this is a workout outfit that I'm going to do a shoot for. It's really cute. They wanted it in the Bahamas, so obviously I'm gonna do it in the Bahamas. I did a light makeup look today. It doesn't look too bad. My tan is honestly coming off, unfortunately, but it's okay, because I can always get another spray tan. Good morning, guys. I slept really well, but of course I had to have a crazy dream, because like, would I be pet if I didn't have crazy dreams? I woke up really early because we're going to Azuma. Azuma? That is a island with pigs. A bunch of pigs. 
and I think that um, I'm gonna have a really good time. They supposedly bite, so we're gonna, you know, just cross our fingers that they don't bite. I literally have a tattoo of a pig. They shouldn't bite me. I'm one with pigs. I am a pig. Did you see how much I ate last night? So after like almost two hours, we made it to our first destination. It's really beautiful. It's actually so crazy how clear the water is. Like if there was a shark down there, I would like legit be able to see it. But this is literally an island just full of iguanas and you can go feed them. so much for real for everything I know everyone always says you know this wouldn't be possible without you but for real guys you have to be proud of yourselves because you have made this all really really amazing for me and somehow I was chosen to do this and I'm so grateful for that opportunity I hope that I'm making my family proud especially my grandpa and you guys are doing a great job I'm like trying to find a place to sit but there's like hermit crabs literally everywhere but I'm all alone over here I left the group just trying to like, you know, clear my mind and just really be grateful for this moment. And I really enjoy coming. I enjoy coming here, not even because, you know, it's like such a cute vacation place or whatever, but I'm just taking time for myself and really thinking about, you know, life. I'm a little nervous when I go home that, you know, I snap back to reality because unfortunately I am going through something. I don't want to talk about it too much, but like it's totally normal. Everyone goes through it. I'm just trying to kind of think in my head what I can do to make my life, you know, and everybody's life easier. So sometimes you have to like do things that really hurt for a while, but in the long run, it's better for you. You know what I mean? And everybody. That's like kind of what I've just been thinking recently. I never want to be a burden and, you know, make the person feel like they have to be there for me because at the end of the day, that's my own problem because I need to be there for myself. You know what I mean? So I have a lot of self reflecting to do and so does, you know, not perfect, obviously. Have some really down moments, but then I get back up and I feel better. TikTok doesn't help. TikTok, like, for somehow knows that, like, whatever you're going through, and it literally is putting, like, all, a bunch of stuff on my new page about what I'm going through, which is helping, I guess, but, again, it's not that bad. There is this chick that totally reminds me of me. She's just, like, running back and forth. She's running back and forth. She should just be laying on the beach, but no, she's getting her steps in. It's definitely a paper piece. There's literally a shark in the water, There's right? A shark in the water, my legs are not. It's over there. Well, while we were feeding the pigs, the coolest thing happened. Look behind you. That is a five foot stingray! Yeah, she's the biggest. Squishy. Squishy. But she has Her name is Squishy. <laughs> The editor is about to beat my butt because there is sand all over my camera. And this is like his gift. My mom and I just walked to a grocery store, got our second hotel. I got some kombucha, which I have not had in so long. And we're gonna take the first sip, and literally my life is gonna just be complete. Ah. But look at this. You're probably like, what is that? It's a small banana. It's like, whoa. The lady said that they're really.
really good, really sweet. You know, I'm in the Bahamas. I've never seen a freaking small banana in my whole life. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Alright, 10 and 10 do not recommend, but I have some grapes to make up for it. So, the Atlantis was super fun, but definitely not my cup of tea. I'm definitely more chill, like I don't want to have to leave my hotel and see a ton of people kind of girl. But that's why next I'm going to Sandy Port, which Sandy Port was so amazing and so beautiful. And the swimsuits were like so amazing and so beautiful. Welcome to day 7 or some shit of the day of me being in the Bahamas. But real quick, I just want to let you guys know, like this bathing suit right here, I am like... Looking for it. It's so cute and it's from it's from Luli Fama. It's so beautiful and they are actually they gave me so many bathing suits. This one is probably like my second favorite. They gave me like this pink one, which is also really really cute, but like this is like I'm staying here for them. And I'll show you guys like kind of like the whereabout of this hotel. It's really cute. We're like right in this little cute canal thing, and every single house is like a different color thing, which is like so freaking cute. So this is a pink bathing suit. It has like pink rough, like pink stitching. It's so cute. So I'll get some close-ups of all of the bathing suits while I'm taking my photos today. Today is like going to be like my last day actually taking photos, which is looking kind of sad because this is something I've wanted to do for so long. There was so much preparation. Me got a dog. Actually, besides like off topic, uh, we went to the vet that we have love bug at right now. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna name her Sandy, but love bug is kind of just rolling off my tongue. We only got to see her for like two seconds, but tomorrow we're gonna go see her again and then we get to bring her home. <laughs> like so freaking cute I love the seahorses which is right there it's cute it's freaking yellow and I love seahorses There's an actual kitchen, which I've been making sure I keep this dishwasher clean. I've been making coffee every day, I've been making tea every day, and I have a full stocked fridge. I mean, it's pretty full stocked, okay? We have a desk area, and then we have a cute little table. Look, it's so cute. And then we have a couch, <laughs> and then um, we have a chair, and a balcony, which is, this is like actually so beautiful. We're drying some of our clothes out here because I did a really funny reel today. Go check it out. And you're probably like, where's the bed at? There's a whole room for the bed. So it's like a master bed, which this bed is so comfortable. It's actually like dangerously comfortable because I've been sleeping way too much. This bed, I've been taking so many naps. I like told myself today that I'm not allowed to take a nap because I was waking up from these naps in the worst mood of my whole entire life. And we have a TV which has been just had SpongeBob on it for like ever because there's no other. I can't find another show that I like to watch. Then we have this beautiful mirror which I've been taking so many mirror selfies in. It's sick. It even has like lights. It's like a literal freaking vanity and a bathtub. We have the bathroom and I have a bidet which is. Quite crazy because I used to think, you know that TikTok where it's like show something in your house that you thought was normal until you went to other people's house? That was me when I was younger because I grew up with a bidet and then I went to another person's house and I was like, that's not normal. You don't have a bidet. So it is kind of quite cool that they have a bidet here. So our flight got canceled. So we're going home a day later, but that means that I still have to work and get my grind on. So I just did a really funny reel. You guys can go check it out. I got laughed at on the beach for it. So let me know if you guys check it out and let me know if you came for my reel in the 
comments. But let's go back to the hotel room and I'll meet you guys for our last dinner in the Bahamas. Loki kind of sad, like I'm not even gonna lie, you know, there probably was a lot of moments where I'm like, oh god, I don't wanna do this anymore, I'm like angry, hangry, tired, but honestly, at the end of the day, it was all worth it, and I'm so sad that this is my last outfit. What am I gonna do with my life? It's one lifetime opportunity thing. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to do it again. If you're a swimsuit company, or if anyone knows of a swimsuit company, sponsor me. dinner right now and the dinner place is so cute they asked us if we wanted to sit inside outside or on the beach and obviously on the beach so on the beach I'm so happy so grateful for this moment I'm posting on my snapchat so if you guys want to go follow my snapchat I have a snapchat I just had probably one of the best meals that I've had while I was here I had fish and veggies and plantains and now we're ordering a key lime pie because when you go in you go all out okay this is my last day here Yo, yo, about 20 minutes later, sit down, don't be a hater. So it's that time of the trip that you never like to do. I'm packing right now, so I'm packing my whole suitcase. And while we were packing, we came across a shell that we found at Izuma, Inzuma? Izuma Island. Izuma Island. We found a shell in Izuma Island. And I wanted to, it smells so legit. It's so gross, it gets into my nostrils and it doesn't get out. So I wanted to write my handle on it. If you guys ever come across it, take a photo of it and tag me. You know, I know that I have some, you know, friends out here in the Bahamas. I'm gonna miss this plant. Oh my god, I just got a wolf of it. It smells awful. I bet the hotel's gonna take it before you guys can, but here it is. I've met like a handful of you guys here. If you guys live in the Bahamas, come to the Sandy Resort. Just a real quick Sandy Port Resort. Take a photo with this. I think it would be really cute and like a really cool way you to like- get some random people doing it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to bed now. Kinda so tired, but let's go. Finally, after a very long trip, it's time to go home. Good morning! It's the day of execution. We are finally going home. I haven't been home in so long. I don't know what the time is. It's probably like 6.40, but we have to leave and go to the vet to get my dog. My hair's still in a bun. I haven't washed my hair in a few days. But that's like the least of my problems. I'm kind of nervous about this whole dog situation because I'm a nervous airport energy. But this is just something I've never ever done before. I'm scared that the dog's not gonna be able to come. I'm scared that the dog's gonna be scared. I'm scared that the dog is gonna just like, something's gonna go wrong and I'm gonna have to unfortunately leave the dog here. And my heart will be a little bit more broken than it already is. Finally made it to the airport. Shh. And she's in her cage. It's a huge cage. We've had a lot of stresses today, like so many. And we finally are at the airport. And that was one of the stresses we had. We had a stress how we're gonna get this cage out of the car. Now my stress is that we eat. She didn't be too loud. No, oh, I'm so sad. I hope she gets home safe. They're gonna be gentle with her and stuff, right? I love you. I love you. I love you. So far, so good. My hair looks so bad. I cannot believe I'm just walking around like this. Okay, guys. That's it. So we're gonna leave her. I'm very stressed that the person is not gonna take good care of her. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's crying. Stop, 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 stop. We can't. This is what happened last time. Finally getting on the plane, going to Seattle. I hope that it arrives there safely. This was a very, really, really, really long flight. But all I cared about was where's my freaking dog? Seriously, I didn't get a photo, I didn't get a sticker, I didn't even know if she was on the plane or not. What am I supposed to do? I was so nervous. Sometimes the plane would make a noise and I thought it was her barking. How crazy I am. I am currently trying not to cry because I just want to make sure the dog's okay. And I'm like so nervous. I hate this so much. I don't want to do this ever again. We asked one of the people working down here, oh, how's the dog doing? And he was like, oh, she actually pooped all over herself. So that's what we're going to have to deal with when we get home. Once we're all sitting there, they make the final announcement. They're like, the doors are about to be closing. And I was like, okay. 
this man, a flight attendant comes up to me and he's like, Piper Smith, you're kicked off this flight because your dog pooped everywhere and it's really messy. And I was like, it was really bad. It was really bad. So we were stuck in Seattle. And plot twist, we're driving across the country. <laughs> Road trip. Good morning, guys. I'm back home. I'm not back home. As you can see, I'm in a hotel. I'm in Seattle right now. That's the, that's the thing. It's like six o'clock in the morning right now. Again, we don't have our bags with us. Our bags actually made it to California. Now we're trying to drive back to California. If you don't know, it's like Seattle. Washington and then Oregon and then California. It's a 16 hour drive. It's a very, very long drive. We have a dog, we have a cat, and they don't really like each other. So this is just like a wild trip. Oh, boy. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. My baby's first time going to Petco. She decided on this little cute, there's just hair everywhere. It's just so crazy how there's hair everywhere. trees like that right there like if that fell on us we're gone we are in Oregon so that's pretty good we've been on the road for five and a half and supposedly in like five and a half hours we might hit like a bunch of snow that's the next stress that we have to deal with another stress we have to deal with is that pimples keep popping up on my face they're like I want to join the road trip no I've seen a lot of people talk about Dutch Bros and I thought I would never go but I mean we're on a road trip why not we have stopped by so many so it's time to go to Dutch Bros whoa that's gross my mom says it looks like a pig store think about being me just like me you never really know where you're gonna get like you know recognized by your friends or whatever people that have supported you in the past and this Dutch Bros just happened to be one of them and it's a small store so like everyone they're like all younger like teens and they were like ah! like they got so excited and look at what they wrote on my coffee they, they wrote oh my god hey queen look at how freaking sweet that is and they surprised my mom with a drink so they're so sweet 10 out of 10 let's see if it's actually good I got something like super super simple so I'm a simple girl give me some energy for this road trip mm, good reminds me of a slush puppy mm. very good all right off to our next location nice kiss kiss did someone call for Batman I think Batman lives here so I think we're in a cloud right now, like like legitimately so high up that we're in a cloud, which is pretty cool, I think. Never mind guys, that wasn't a cloud, that was a truck that is about to explode. Literally, it's back there. It's about to explode. All right, we're officially at nine hours, but we were watching this person like turn around and go like the opposite way off of an exit, and we were too busy looking at that. So then when we turned our head, we saw this sign that said, Beyond this point, you might need chains when the lights are flashing. No, it said chains required. So we don't know if we have chains in our car, and everyone's going quite slow. God. Why is we're going so slow? I don't know what to think or do. Or... Currently, really, really stressed right now because we're going through the mountains. Please just go slow. My heart is pounding. Are we gonna be in that mountain? We officially made it to California. We still don't know what's coming, but my stress levels have gone down a little bit. My pimples have like popped out a little bit more because when you get stressed, at least when I get stressed, they like pop out. I feel a moment later. 
Okay, so the last time you guys saw me, I was really stressed about the roads, but then we got a hotel and, you know, we were really just trying to make a do with what we were doing. The editor kept calling us and, like, kind of really making us worried, so we went to this hotel. The first one we saw, I was trying to be all positive about it. I was like, look, the sheets are clean. You see that little red dot right there? Yeah, that, I, I don't know what kind of bug that was from, but I, it really itches and I'm really concerned. So now we're driving another 40 minutes to go to another hotel. This is really bad, it's really bad, it really hurts. And that's not the only bug bite that I have. I have more in places that I don't want to explore. Good morning! We've been through sunny, rain, and snow. What else can we go through? But again, guys, I think we're only like four and a half hours away, five? 300 miles. 300 miles. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We might not even make it through your music video. Dun, dun, dun. Something else could happen. Yeah. Could get in another snowstorm. that we're literally so close to home, but I'm really excited to get home. Really excited to get home. Next day on the road trip, we finally made it home, and the dog is home. We're back home! Uh, yeah, you're back in the US, you have a dog. <laughs> you're wearing the same clothes you were in the intro, that's weird. I literally, like, I just, I set these out. What? How? So how? <laughs> Guys, I'll see you next week. <laughs>